Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to talk about the most recent UFO sighting event on March 31st, 2019 at Sequoia Park in Monterey Park. First of all, if you haven't attended, we always have a great time together. It's just fun to be around those who believe in UFOs and those who have seen them. It's not only fun to hear people's stories and seeing their pictures, but we actually get to look for UFOs in the sky. This is actually for those who are tired of hearing internet researching experts telling their stories without video or photographic evidence. I bet you these internet researching experts haven't even seen a UFO. Certainly not as much as we've seen. So let's just get into it. I think we saw anywhere from 15 to 20 objects during the time that we were there. And I know that I'm getting a little spoiled, but I wanted more to show up. When there's a lot of new people, I really want them to see them. But out of all of those objects that I was able to capture, there was one that really stood out to me and I wanted to show you. This one was captured toward the end of the day, around 4 o'clock. What was interesting was that at the beginning of the day, we called to them. But one of the characteristics that we asked for was it to transform and to morph. Pretty much nothing that we saw that day did any morphing until we saw this one. Now I'm capturing this with my telescope. It's my ETX90 using a Sony A6000 mirrorless camera. And I would say it's probably about a mile, mile and a half away, which is pretty close if you ask me, for a UFO. So here's the question, were we supposed to be capturing this object up close and personal like this? With the naked eye, there's no way you'd be able to see this type of detail. And yet, they come when we call to them. Notice that certain sequences of this footage present some sort of shininess, a metallic reflection that's super bright. I believe that this extreme shininess brings upon itself a transformation. I've seen many objects morph and transform without this bright reflection, but this alien tribe utilizes this technique in order to change its morphology. It's hard to use the word polymorphic or pleomorphic because it insinuates a biological entity, some sort of carbon-based living organism. But if it's not biological, it's probably mechanical, which means that if it's shiny, it probably has metallic properties which should suggest some sort of shape-shifting memory alloy, a smart metal that contains super elasticity and uses particle response symmetry. So how can you tell the difference between these two completely different objects when they are transforming? Generally, but not all the time, you can tell the difference by looking for it to sequence. Mechanical objects tend to replicate their morphing transitions over and over again. Kind of like an airplane blinking a light as it flies. Do they assume that you could see them up close and personal? Who knows, but one thing we have to pay attention to is the sequencing. Is it showing distinct shapes that sequence through other shapes? Here's another thing with this object. The reflection stops and it continues to change the shapes. Another thing that I've noticed with these objects is that there's only a certain part of these objects that possess a reflective surface. But it seems like this is the initiation process for the transition. Anyway, I hope you liked the video and uh, please tell me what you think. I want to thank everyone who came to this last event. There's definitely a lot of great energy. I want to thank Charles, George, and John for helping me co-pilot the telescope. I think we're getting better at it. Thank you also to Fausto, Yasmin, and Shelley for heading this thing up. These guys are incredible UFO communicators. Please hit the like and subscribe button and visit the LA UFO channel on meetup.com and subscribe there also. Please come to our next UFO sighting event and we'll see you there, okay? I'll see you guys next time.